Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Royal Family. We have a lot of story stuff today in this episode, and we will definitely talk about that later. But first, as you can see, we're starting out at the Windenburg Palace, which I will get to in a minute. We are also going to have the Oasis Springs family meet baby Sahar, Aryan, Gabriel's baby. And I'm so excited because this is the first time we're going to be playing with the infants. And oh, I'm so excited for you guys to see them because they're so freaking cute. We're also going to have a baby shower for Genevieve and John, and it might be a little bit insane. I am looking forward to it, but also slightly terrified. But we are also going to, what are we doing after that? Oh, we'll see Caspian and Alice May for a little bit. They're going on their first public date, and then we're going to see what's going on with Kaleo, because we just saw some interesting information, and he learned something, and we're going to figure out what he does with that information later. So if you're excited for this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, there have been four story posts since the last episode, just all the events that went on in the last episode at the Tartosa Palace was basically split into four parts. So if you have not read those yet, I would go read those because those are fairly important and they are linked below. So the reason we are at the Windenburg Palace is because you guys saw in the story post, um, we are, uh, you know what I just realized? Alspe is clumsy and proper. I find that fairly funny. I guess that's possible, because she definitely is, but anyway. Um, okay, so uh, Alice May's tense. I, I did make her tense. Oh, which, which, wait, was she about to write in her diary? I completely missed that. She's tense right now. Oh, Benji, Benji, Benji. Hi! Wait, I'm so, I just, I feel like it's been a while since I've seen him, and he's actually just like the cutest little baby and my absolute favorite. Oh my god. What, why, why, why are you barking, honey? What are you, is it that Nia? I think he's just excited to see Nia, maybe, possibly. Um, okay, so if you guys saw in the episode, or in the, yeah, well, we talked about it in the last episode and also in the story post, but Alice May freaking out a little bit because she hurt, wait, Amira, come back, I need you. Okay, so Amira and Alice May, they talked because as you guys saw in the last episode, Alice May was pretty, uh, stressed, I guess. Is, I don't know. There's a lot of emotions going on um, when she found out uh, that Caspian didn't know about his parents. And I did also have a lot of questions about the way Alice May responded. It's like, if, you, if you're if you a victim of someone like Kaleo in your life, uh, you get into a certain mindset and it's very hard to get out of it. Essentially, Kaleo, like, everything he put her through, it's taught her to, like, kind of, like, internalize everything and think that things are gonna be her fault and scared that people are gonna be mad at her because Kaleo got mad at her for everything. So that's essentially, like, why she reacted the way she did. So she didn't really know what to do. Um, Nani helped her out and said that she should probably tell her parents and maybe they can help her. So Alice May will, will say has told Amira what she knows. I don't know why Amira's so confident, but um, she, Benji's just waiting in here patiently. Okay, so I'm gonna say that Nia, I need to make Nia an office. But yes, I do feel like I need to make an office for Nia. So pretend she's an office and she's working. Um, and Alice May and Amira are going to come here and talk to Nia and we'll see how well I can do this because there are only like a few things the sims will let you do i bet she's just sitting in the back like the goodest boy look at i'm so i'm so distracted but look at him look how freaking cute he is oh my gosh he's howling he's so cute all right benji and okay oh uh, yeah we are so cute and distracted okay I, I can't do this with him in here i'm sorry he's so cute please cedric Cedric, please. Okay, okay. Oh, he's running out. Okay, no, Amira, come back, please. All right, so Amira is going to talk to Nia. Oh, no, don't pose. I guess deep conversation. I think I'm, I feel like this is like a, let the adults handle it, but I think I'm, why did she lose her manners? But I feel like Amira maybe that threw me off for a second. <laughs> There's so much new stuff added, it's throwing me off. Small talk. I'm trying to see, like, where's the, like, share a secret thing? Okay, well, okay, essentially, uh, Amira is telling Nia what Alice May heard. Alice May's here and that she talked to Caspian and she's just concerned and, and wondering even though like she's trying not to get too involved because she knows it's not really like her business but like it's just kind of like okay now she knows this and Caspian doesn't is, is, uh, is uh, gonna talk she just wants Nia to be aware um 
also apologizing that she eavesdropped when she was like 12 years old, but you know, she was 12. So Nia is going to tell Al, I just get to know, I don't know. Why are they talking about underpants? <laughs> gossip? Oh, gossip. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 you know what? You know what? Wait. Can we do gossip about another sim and then ask about another sim? Other sims. Ask about another sim. Can you ask about Maleko? Hmm, Maleko's not on here. Okay, maybe ask about Caspian? What are you to say about your son? But anyway, I think Nia would be telling them. I, <laughs> I like my son. He is pretty cool. <laughs> I think Nia would tell Amira, essentially, like, they've talked about it. Her and Maleko have talked about it. Um, also, if you guys don't know what I am talking about, I feel like I should probably say that. So as a refresher, Caspian said Maleko cheated on his mom, Nia, twice. They got divorced after the second time, and his parents decided to wait and tell him the reason why, because Nia didn't want to ruin the relationship between him and his dad, between Caspian and his dad. So Caspian thinks they got divorced because they just fell out of love. Then, of course, a long time ago, Caspian and Nia first when it moved to Windenburg, Alice May Caspian, they were like 12 and Alice May overheard it. So that's what we talked about. It was so long ago and Alice May assumed that Caspian would have known the reason by now that they would have told him. So she's freaking out a bit. Now Nia is saying that she left telling Caspian up to Maleko and that she will tell Maleko that they should tell Caspian soon. So essentially just like reassuring her a bit. That's kind of all I wanted to cover here. Oh, hi Jabari. Hello. Oh, oh, he's just giving a hug to Alice May. That's really cute. And then Cedric is, is... <laughs> Cedric's at Amira's desk playing video games? What are you doing? What are you doing? Chat in kids chat room. Okay, little bud. You do... Benji! Benji! <gasps> Benji! What did you do? Why didn't we, did this happen last time? Did it give, giving him a bath? What did you do? Oh my gosh, the stress he's from strict family dynamic. Princess Am usually respects the authority of her older family members and follows the rules, but the high expectations that have come with such good reputation can be very stressful at times. That's very accurate. Now we have dynamics, Scott. It's been a while since we've done an episode, but I know the Growing Together pack has come out and the update has come out for like a couple months now. But now we have all these dynamics and we can talk about that in a bit. I did leave some stuff up for just a, like to see what happens, but I we did pick some already. Okay, strict. I feel like that one's a given though. So the, the strict family dynamic with Jabari and Alice May and with Jabari and Cedric, even though they have let up a little bit um, close for Cedric and Alice May and then Amira and Alice May. I was okay, it's also strict. So so they're letting up a little bit, but um, we, we figured strict would be the best option for the dynamics. Are you gonna give him a bath? We should go, but okay, I just wanna make sure Benji's clean. I also don't know if he did this. I'm assuming he did. Also, I know it's been a bit, but I, I God, I love her gaming setup. It's my favorite. It's so, it's so cute. I love her gaming setup so much. And then we even have like a little switch. Oh, Amira wants to come in and play video games, I think. Okay, and then Alice May is giving Benji a bath, so we're all good. Okay, so we're gonna leave them here, and we're gonna go to the Oasis Springs Royal Family. Okay, so we are now at the Oasis Springs Palace. Also, I am filming this the next day, so the day after when I was filming the last scene, um, my body just like kind of gave out on me. I am totally fine, but I was like, okay, I need a break. So reminder to anyone, if your body is telling you to stop or is in pain, you should probably stop. Take care of yourself, please. Okay, moving on. Okay, so we're at the Oasis Springs Palace. I've created, we, okay guys, we literally have baby gates now. Like I joke about it to keep the adults in check during events. And now we have literal baby gates. So I have sectioned off, this probably doesn't need to be here. I probably could have just made that a straight line, but I've sectioned off this little portion of the living room um, in the Oasis Springs Palace for the infants and the toddlers. So the infants we have here who are sleeping. Oh my gosh, I did not not pick this outfit for you, Sahar. Um, but he's asleep. Can I change your outfit at all? No, I think I have to wait for him to wake up. I think this is just a random one. I don't think we actually ended up finishing picking all the outfits because I was waiting for more CC to become available for them. Okay, he's asleep right now, but this is baby Sahar. I'll, I'll wake him up in a bit so that you guys can actually see him because I know you guys have not yet. We also have Lady Catalina here and we also have Priya here where 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 did she go Ew. she keeps escaping 
I literally, I keep, do I have to add her to the family? I keep teleporting her into here and they're not supposed to be able to move or leave. Um, this is Princione. So we now get to see the babies and infants before they were in the toddler preset, but I made the really young babies into infants. So that's the One and then Pilapo is over here sleeping. Um, the only way I am able to tell them apart right now, I'm trying to give them each like, I had friends who were twins growing up and like one of them always wore pink and the other one wore blue all the time. And so I'm like kind of trying to do the same with them, but I don't remember which colors I keep giving them. So um, then also Sione has a little birthmark. If you guys saw, oh, oh dear. Um, when they're not infants anymore, I'll probably change their hairstyles to be different because we're gonna, they are definitely identical twins. They're gonna need uh, something to be able to tell them apart more. Like I think with Julia and Elena, I ended up giving Juliet longer hair than Elena. So that's kind of how we told them apart. But for now, it's the birthmark. Sione has a birthmark. And then Sahar, we are going to wake you up. So we're just gonna like spend some time here. Well, I guess I could control with Kimmy because um, now the family, so asked to be introduced to, oh, see, oh, you don't know Sione? You should know Sione. Um, this is Catalina and Priya. They are making a huge mess right now. How close are you two, by the way? Not you don't know each other? You don't know each other. Okay. Um, they're like, oh, talk to stranger. Their their parents are cousins because France Francisco is Nea's brother and Ariana is his daughter, and then Catalina is her daughter. <laughs> but yes, that, that's what they are. Apparently they don't really know each other. Also, why is Priya sad? Oh, from Stranger Danger, poor baby. Okay, you guys kind of know each other now. Talk to Stranger again. And then Makana is here. We're going to have him play with the baby too, so control Sim. And then Prince Sahar. I'm going to wake up Prince Sahar. They say you're never supposed to wake a sleeping baby, but you guys need to meet Sahar. So we will in this instance, wake our sleeping, oh my gosh, he just stretched. We will wake our sleeping baby. And this is Sahar. He's really, really cute. I love the infants, you guys. They're freaking adorable. I love them so, so much. We're going to, because I don't know, I, I'm trying to get like all of the family kind of introduced to them. So introduce, okay, so everyone. They haven't met everyone yet, oh dear, okay. Oh my goodness, okay, so I've invited, um, of course, Nea's kids and their families and the Nea's siblings and their families. So they should all be here. Um, if you didn't know, Rosalind, she actually also just had a baby, but I couldn't really invite all the infants and I don't know why. I guess I should teleport to the baby here. Um, but Rosalind is married to Romeo. They're their baby's name is, hold on, let me check. Okay, their baby's name is Rana, and they're not showing up quite yet. Also, the tree is a little glitched and shows them broken up a bit, um, but Lady Rana is her daughter. I, I need to update the family tree a bit more so um, you guys can see it. And I'll, I'll make, I need to remember to like link that so everyone can see the tree whenever you need to, but I'll make sure to update that as well. I believe she is changed into an infant currently. I probably should have invited her too, but there's already so much going on here. We have all of our little infants. I'm gonna try to get um, Arya. I think Arya is introducing Sahar to Minerva. So it's just like the whole family here right now. So we do know too that the infants have quirks. It looks like like, let's see. Okay, so just to get to know them a bit, Pilapo is intense and quirks are frequently sneezes and hates being held. And I think, is that? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then uh, life born. Okay, well, we know that. And then Sione, is, they're complete opposites. It's actually kind of wild. Sione is calm, frequently hiccups, and loves being held. I feel like that will be interesting. I feel like just, of course, you know, not everyone is the same as they are when they're babies. Some people like take a, like, a complete 180 with their personality. But just from this, I'm kind of getting the vibe that they're going to be pretty different. So I feel like that'll be really interesting. And then Sahar is wiggly, a snuggly sleeper and gassy. <laughs> so we have, uh, yeah, Snuggly Sleeper. This infant only likes to fall asleep when they're being held. First visitor's milestone unlock. Perfect. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, okay, so Minnie is meeting Sahar right now. This is super, super cute. Although he kind of 
why why are you giving your aunt the death stare? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, so it's Minerva, Gabriel's sister, and then I guess I'll just try to keep introducing Sahar to everybody. Of course, we're probably not gonna get to see him meet every single person, but let's see, where's, where's, is Kimmy on? Yeah, Kimmy, Manuel, of course, Aisha's here. I was going to say, um, Aisha and Rosalind don't really like each other, so uh, Rosalind's currently talking to Juliet, and Aisha, I don't actually know where Aisha is, but Aisha should also be here. Megan is, so, some of them are dressed for the, uh, oh, whoops, some of them are dressed for the baby shower that's happening, Genevieve's baby shower after this. I probably won't be able to change them all back, but I tried to pick an outfit for everyone um, for both events who I knew were going to both events. Maybe I didn't pick one for Megan. I might not have. I think I forgot. Although she does have clothes now, which is good because she kept showing up without any clothes for the longest time. And then let's see. So we, we have William here because William's the Oasis Springs kiddo's cousin. Leilana, yes, is here. And then Kimmy is waiting to be introduced to Sahar, I believe. I, it looks like Minnie is kind of hogging Sahar at the moment. Ku milestone unlocked. Prince Pilapa might not be able to talk, but cooing sounds are a great step to verbal communication. Have him socialize with other sims or stuffed animal to practice more. I love the little things that they added, guys. I might have, um, let's see, can Priya interact with her cousins? Meet Prince Pilapo, perfect. And then meet Prince Yon, although I definitely think they've already met before. Um, I think the game just... We're, we're not tabled. Like, like, they should know each other already. I might have just forgotten to introduce them, even though I thought I did. But Priya is introdu introducing herself to her cousins. I feel like Catalina is kind of... She, she's sassy. She's like, let's see, what? Oh, she's destructive. Okay. Um, and then Priya. Oh, right. She's sad because of the strangers right now. Priya is clingy. That's all we know about Priya so far. Okay, entertain. Priya's gonna entertain her little cousin. And then Sahar is still being introduced to the family. Minnie is definitely hogging him right now. Okay, we're just gonna have you not hold on to Sahar. I know he's super, super cute, you guys. Look. Also, I do know I still have to do story posts um, for Gabriel and Arya and when they met Sahar, but um, I will have those up as soon as I can. There's just like kind of limited poses for infants right now, but I will let you guys know as soon as that is up, but just wanted to let you all know that you can expect that soon. And then I think Arya is introducing Hand Prince Sahar to- <gasps> I mean, that was kind of terrifying. <laughs> wait, you didn't even, you didn't even give with her. What? Chat, wait, you know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Interesting. Oh yeah, Kaleo's here too. Interesting. Okay, we, we've talked about Leilana and Deed and how they um, have been working through things. I guess it seems like things are going fairly well. So Kaleo is here. Looks like he's talking to Lorda J. We saw him in the machinima. We will focus on that whole thing after this. Kaleo has, of course, learned this information about Caspian's dad, and he's... He's got a lot of feelings right now. He thinks he might do... Oh my gosh, wait, Williams, wait! I did not think this through. I knew William was gonna be here, and I was like, oh yeah, Claire's gonna be here, and then I didn't, wait, I didn't put two and two together. Wait, okay, I kind of, I, oh my God, okay, I don't have a good relationship. I feel like they would ignore each other. I don't think either of them would talk to each other here at all. That just seems like it would make the most sense. Um, also, I did download a drama mod, um, drama by sh by she. I, I have to, I'll, I'll link um, who it's by. I was gonna talk about it a bit more later, but we did try it in our high school AU stream. Mm -hmm. Insult hygiene, petty jab. I can, <sighs> I can kind of... Okay, we're gonna... I'm... I'm mm, Y'all. Also, William, wait. Okay, I did a story post. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Wait, okay, so I did a story post that William found out that Kaleo hooked up with Gia, which is William's ex. Um, so may maybe he does do a petty job. Okay, I... 
I can't believe I didn't realize that they were both going to be here and what that meant. <laughs> I totally forgot. Uh, drop a by sheer. Okay, we're just we're going to do a, a petty job. Let's see what happens from this. I'm I'm rather curious. Oh, dear. oh, I kind of I I thought he would say something like just off in passing, maybe. Uh oh, <laughs> Kaleo's like, did I do that? Lord William has learned the following traits about Kaleo materialistic. I think he knew that already. Oh, you're confident. Just call me Petty Pancakes. <laughs> yep, I said it. Sometimes it feels good to be Betty, but they didn't even know I knew that. Like, bet he didn't even know that Kaleo hooked up with his ex Gia? Kaleo's angry now. Wait, wait. Okay, aggravated conversation. What is this? Still upset from feeling hurt by someone you're by, which I feel like is William Anger Bob. Um, oh my god. Oh my gosh. Offended from Petty Jab. Wow, that was Petty AF. How did they even know that? <gasps> He's like, wait, how does he know? Oh my gosh, you okay, okay. I don't I don't want this to blow up completely because we're with the we're with the toddler. Alright, William, you should you should go downstairs. You should, why don't you oh my I feel like an idiot. I didn't even like think about the fact. I just, in my head, I was like, yeah, Kaleo's gonna be there. And then I was like talking to the street, but I was like, oh yeah, William's gonna be there. I didn't say it like that within the same sentence that was like hours apart. And I just didn't think about it at all. Cause Kaleo hasn't been at anything with Alice May. I don't think they're like allowed at the same events together. So for the baby shower, uh, Kaleo's not going to that, but I don't see any reason why Alice May would be here, but William is their cousin and <laughs> Kaleo is Makata's brother. So they're, they're, it just, I, <laughs> but you know what? Wait, hold on. Okay, so are you mopping your son? <laughs> I know he's just mopping the floor underneath him, but like it looks like he's mopping Sione, like it's going right through. He's like bleeding his son with a mop. Okay, okay, but because Kaleo knows this information though about Cassidy, and maybe he was kind of like sitting on it. I think he had some ideas, which we'll see in a little bit what he does with that information. But maybe like this, this stuff with William, like William saying a little like remark, really pissed Kaleo off. And he knows that Caspian's like part of that friend group now. So I feel like now he's even more mad and more jealous than he already was. And we know he was already like extremely jealous. So we'll see what he does with that information after this. Okay. They're gonna hang out with Sahar more. I know we like, we, we got to see the toddlers a bit. Um, we're of course not doing everything we've made Kaleo angry. Um, and then we of course have Ari here and Minerva and Jack. I don't know what's going on here. It seems like a tad bit of a family quarrel possibly. Oh no, they're laughing about it. They were joking around. Okay, that is fine. We got to see the toddlers and the infants and you guys got to see the newly infantified Palapo and Sione and Kimmy is talking with Arya right. Oh, this was Kimmy's old room. Oh, wait, y'all. Oh, wicked. Okay, this is really, really cute. Oh, Kellen's just here too. Kellen, Manuel. Manuel's like new look. I don't know if everyone has seen it yet, but this is Manuel. We like updated his look a little bit and gave him a bit of facial hair. Um, but they're all just in here chatting and hanging out with little baby Sahar, who is super, super cute. But yes, again, I know we didn't like do all too much here, but we have a lot to get through in this episode. So we're gonna leave them here for now and go to our very chaotic baby shower. All right, so we're now doing our baby shower. This is actually in San Sequoia. I, I know some people have asked, I think I've already mentioned this, but I can't remember, so I'll say it again. Um, uh, San Sequoia is not its own kingdom. It's supposed to be like one of, I. It, the way it looks, it, it, I feel like it could pull off for being part of Willow Creek, but um, there's just some of the lands that like aren't necessarily part of any kingdom or like more of a neutral space. And I can kind of see that for San Sequoia, but where it's close to, I definitely think it's closer to Willow Creek, which is why we're having this here. It's just another suburban world and there's so many of those. Uh, Willow, yeah. Now, we've talked about this on my stream. Um, baby showers are normally fairly small and like a private event. However, we did want an excuse to throw a big event. And even though, especially with Genevieve, like it's not her thing really to do a big party, we were saying that maybe her and John have just been traveling so much. Corinne found out they were pregnant and like, got so excited and because they also haven't seen them for a while because they've been traveling then wanted to throw this giant baby shower and Genevieve just couldn't say no. I, I think I saw there's like 56 sims coming. I tried to steer clear from toddlers. Um, originally I was going to invite them but because there's already so many I didn't know if I could handle all of that and how busy that would make everything. Um, so I, I did invite some of the kids but as far as like toddlers go I tried to avoid inviting them 
them. But this is the first baby shower that's come with the game. I, I can't remember if we've done one in the past with a mod, if, if it wasn't for my main series and it was for like some other small one. But now, now we've done our first baby shower. I think Genevieve's already getting some gifts. I did see Natalia hand her something. A baby shower gift has been placed in your inventory. So she's already getting gift. Wow, that's a lot of future cubes. Was it this? Is this the toy? Is this what? Oh no, this is new. Choppy the monster. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I guess that was the gift. I'm gonna just call people to come eat. See, so call the meal. Genevieve is currently craving sweet food, um, so maybe we'll we'll have some sweet food later. I'm gonna have John. We're going to fill fountain with a sweet chocolate and fruit punch. So yeah, there's a lot of people here. Um, I think this is overdressed for Aisha, but if anyone is going to be overdressed, it's definitely her. So I will keep it for now. Everyone else is supposed to join, but I think because oh you're do what are you what are you doing they get labeled as the expecting parent i love that i do think john's just glitched though. Okay, now people are starting to come in. We have Charles and Fallon here. I don't know why, but I, I it gets me excited when like Sims sit together. That makes sense to sit together. Like obviously Charles and Fallon are married, um, so they're sitting next to each other and it just makes me happy. Of course, we have Corinne. Another grandchild is on the way and she is so excited. We have Umar here. So Umar is Minerva's boyfriend. You might recognize him from the debutom ball. And then, I don't know why Zyber is just kind of sitting alone over here. Um, um, but yeah, we're kind of waiting for the guests to arrive and I want to try a few things out for the baby shower and then we might have some drama happen because there's a specific drama starter person that is going to be here that we will see in a bit. Um, Genevieve, please don't do the dishes, you're pregnant, you don't have to do a thing. She has to talk about the baby with people, so let's do that, share big news. Let's see, Genevieve can talk about the baby with her mother as well. No drama, not yet, a friendly. Try to calm down. What's going on with Corinne? Is she just really excited? Ask for craved food item. Ask if Queen Corinne wants grandchildren. She already has them, so. <laughs> okay, ask for a craved food item. Okay, okay. Whoa, wait, wait. Okay, so this was the drama. I, why is Corinne enraged? Wait, I, okay, hold on. One thing at a time. So, Ember is here. Ember is Genevieve, like, he's the Willow. She is the Willow Creek's kid's first cousin. Um, she is the daughter of Corinne's brother, Wyatt. So, she's here. I, it is so in character for her to want to take a selfie with Aisha, guys. I just, I bet she idolizes Aisha. Like, I... 100% bet she idolizes her. And this is the most in-character thing I have ever seen. Also, okay, I need to find out why is Corinne enraged? What is going on here? Oh, it's from the anger bomb. No, please don't, please don't, 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 no, no mean, no, nothing, nothing, please, Corinne. All right, Genevieve's gonna talk about the baby with her. Um, but yeah, so Amber is here, but so is Molly Grace. Else May's gonna be, did I invite Else? I think I did. Uh-oh. William's here. Minerva is here. Minerva's boyfriend's here. Graham's going to be here. Dottie's going to be here. Malia, I think, should also be here. Um, so we'll see. Why are you sad? Molly Gray. Also, you look beautiful, but I don't think this is the outfit we picked for you. Oh my gosh. Snooty introduction. Dresser. Change outfit. Okay. I feel like Molly Grace would... I don't know if she would have been completely prepared for... Oh, I have to pick it up. Um, but I don't know if she would have been completely prepared for Ember to be here. I feel like probably not. Why are you sad though? Hold on. Miss hanging out from socializing with friends, but they're all here right now. Okay, but what if, what if she wasn't completely expecting to see Ember? And, oh my gosh, it's such a bad relationship. Um, okay, so, drama by she, call a switch, petty, jab, insult, hygiene. Okay, also, I said I would keep my mouth shut, but I can't because I, 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 it's too good. We put purposeful, oh my gosh, we put purposefully Ember in Molly Grace's a dress that looked like something very similar that she wore before and also the way her hair has been in some posts. <laughs> so I feel like Molly Grace would, why are you sad? They're, all your friends are going to be here. I, I feel like she would, I, I, she has to do a petty job at Ember. I, I just, we have to see this. Also, Cedric is dancing, of course. 
course he is, and he's so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, look at him. He's having so much fun, not a care in the world. Okay, Molly Grace is doing a petty job at Ember. <laughs> You've learned that she's materialistic. We did already know that though. Um, and then let me see what else. I'll call a smidge. A sim? Sit. S smidge. Sitch? How do you even pronounce that? Oh my gosh, this is great. Abhorrent confrontation insult. Hygiene. Oh, she is enraged. Insult face. All right, let's, I don't, I, we don't want to get in a fight, but I, I just, I want to show you guys more of this mod. Um, Patty Jab and Hygiene. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> I do think, I need everyone to get here though. All right, we have a lot more people. Now I call people to the meal. So we have more people that are in here. Some of them are just kind of waiting out here. I don't really know what's going on here. We have Alice May, she looks, oh, why are you? Oh, she's probably still tense. Um, Malia and Graham. And and Graham, you should probably go with your girlfriend because her and Ember are currently fighting. Let's see. Actions, control. I don't know why there's a big group and also most of them are wearing blue. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, downside to putting Ember in this, even though I feel like it's very in character for her, is that I definitely thought that she was Molly Grace for a second. Um, Molly Grace and Graham, you're my favorite. Wait, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. He can say you're my favorite. That's adorable. Sayori and Elena and William are all over here. William probably sees Ember and is like a the crap out of her. Oh my gosh, Lady Ember and Princess Molly Grace now despise each other. Lady Ember's conflict resolution is an arranged to earn the argumentative trait. That sounds about right. I mean, I feel like they should have despised each other before, but are you sitting next to her? I, I don't know if I would sit next to her, Molly Grace. You might want to come sit over here. Okay, and they're getting baby shower gifts too, which I love. All right, Graham is now telling Molly Grace, you are my favorite, which is so cute, and I love that this is an interaction. He's like whispering it to her. That's adorable. Okay, and the Minerva's here, and we know Minerva doesn't like Ember either. Um, I'm gonna have Ember start something with the Minerva. Oh my god! <gasps> Gush about new baby. Oh, oh, right, Gilbert. Uh, oh, who, who we do also have to see. Call us with Betty. Let's do a petty jab. I, I I know she would. I know, I totally know that she would. Like she also has the villainous Valentine aspiration. Okay, all right. Ember, Ember did a petty jab at Minerva. Minerva's like, I don't want to deal with you, right? I think they both knew they would probably be there. Like literally, they, they're, that's when they mostly see each other is at the Willow Creek family events because they're both cousins of them, but just on like different sides. What, 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 oh wait, what is that? Wait, oh, you were in a group conversation? Oh, shove! No, 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 no fights. No fights at a baby show. We want drama, but I, 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 I feel bad that Genevieve's not getting a private little event, so, um, let's know, let's probably try to prevent the fighting. You guys have already gotten in a fight, um, although Jack is now doing push-ups, I guess he's like, okay, anyone who tries to mess with my daughter. Okay, so, Ember, oh my gosh, that's William too. Ember's talking to Graham and feeling very very flirty. I do have to show you this other thing that's part of this mom because I 100% feel like she would do this too. Okay, well, we're gonna do a snooty introduction, although you're already talking to him. I think Graham knows better than to talk to Ember, but I feel like she just would have like approached him and, not, and he couldn't get away. Part of the uh, drama by she mod is to boldly flirt. Oh my God, he can convince partner is cheating. Okay, we're gonna do the boldly flirt first because I know she would do this. Well, oh, 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 he's laughing. <laughs> he slapped her hand away. He's like, get off of me. Would Molly Grace have seen this? Is that she's in the car? Oh, she's right there. I'm a faithful sim. Besides, you're not my type anyway. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna ask what Lady Ember's problem is. Hey, this drama isn't my fault. At least not completely. I'm allowed to feel bitter about what's happened between- that is such an Ember thing to say. <gasps> She'd be like, I haven't done anything. Wait, wait, what is this? Chatting with Grant. Okay, Ember, you need to go now. You need to, you need to, you need to. No, 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 no. Sit before a fight breaks out. We don't want a fight to break out here. I don't, I, I don't know why. Ellis, come, come inside. Also, where's Cornelius? Also, we should, we should maybe have. Oh, you already talked about the baby. Oh, okay. There's a dance party here. I love that Cedric's just always in the dance. 
dance party like every single time. It's amazing. Oh, Cornelius is here. Okay, okay, Genevieve, go talk to Cornelius. Cornelius is so excited. So excited for Genevieve. Relationship, pregnant, oh no. Well, you are, well, yeah, okay. He already knows the big news, but that's okay. Um, she's just dancing and vibing. She's so cute. Alice May is here. Jabari is here. Caspian should also be here. Actually, Alice May, why don't you go back up Molly Grace? Feel bad because she's still tense, um, but she's here to back up Molly Grace. Oh dear. Wait, maybe she sees, maybe she sees Ember flirting with Umar. Also, Amir is literally right there. Ember, would you really? I think you would. She can fish for compliments. Also, I feel like Minerva and William have seen each other. Aggravating conversation room socialization. Am I good enough from fear of disappointing me? Oh no, Minerva, you're great. You're awesome. But I, I think you're gonna get mad at Ember. Probably <laughs> she. We'll do another petty job. Is that Wyatt? Yes, that is Ember's father. He's just walking on by, not a care in the world. I was gonna say, I, I feel like, okay, yeah, things are probably a little weird between William and Minerva. But why don't you actually go talk to... Oh my gosh, wait. What if, what if actions control... So maybe he's trying to save her from Ember. Friendly compliment? Compliment Alf? Ah, sure. Umar's in here too, though. Um, oh, oh, you're sitting next to Umar. I didn't even realize that. You, I mean, he's probably met Umar before. Well, this is awkward. Also, where is Frederick? I swear, he should be here. Some Mary, oh, Diana, you're extremely dressed up. This is not what I put you in, but that's okay. You look beautiful. Nani should also be here too. I don't know where Nani is, um, but Malia is here. And Genevieve's got her baby, but I can't believe she's pregnant. I'm so excited. I think next episode she will have her baby. I was also thinking, um, technically, I know like it feels like a lot of time has passed because episodes come out so infrequently frequently, but um, I want to have Mamie's birthday party in the next episode, so I, I she's going to be turning into a child, um, and next episode's gonna be a big one, so I think it'll be good to have some, like, a lot of fun things happen as well to help balance it out, um, but I think Genevieve will have her baby in the next episode. Also, hold on, Natalia's supposed to be pregnant too, and I know she didn't have a bump like five seconds ago, but pretend that didn't happen and now she's pregnant. <laughs> it just wasn't showing, um, but she will also be having her baby in the next episode. So we have a few more babies coming. Um, other couples I think are gonna be trying for babies soon too. Um, so we will see more, like I think Jess and Adrian. We'll, we'll wait a little bit, cause there's gonna be, after the next episode, there should be a time skip, so we'll have more babies come in. Alice and Aramid are just talking, have a conversation. They're super cute. Oh, I have to show you guys. You might just like see the picture of her. I, I need to post more pictures of like the infants and everything. Um, actually, maybe I'll just post one on my Instagram, but um, I don't know. actually, maybe I could show you guys pictures here, but Vivian, she is an, it oh, there's Caspian and there's Elon. Elon, yes. Hi, Caspian, come on inside. You, you don't have to wait out here. Um, we're actually gonna see Caspian and Alice May in a sack romance physical intimacy. Oh, not here, maybe. Affection. Uh express fondness. How about that? I'm a faithful sim besides you're not type my type anyway. Did ever try to flirt? <gasps> oh my Wait, who? Are you fighting with Gray? Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, what happened? I looked away for five seconds. What the heck? Stop it! <laughs> Stop! No, no, I don't think Grab would get it. Grab would, I just stop it, please. Oh my gosh, no, I don't think this is, I don't think this is canon. I don't, I don't. Stop. Unknown caller. It's me, bro, your boy, Kyle. Not no, Kyle. No. Did Amber just beat up Grab? Amber won. I think Grab would have fought back, but oh my Wait, wait, shouldn't she get kicked out? <laughs> Yell at. Oh, but who are you and why are you doing push-ups? Oh, that's John's mom. Okay, I really didn't want a fight to happen here and I was not expecting it to be between uh, Grab and Umber. <laughs> like, I feel like Molly Grace never would have made more sense, but um, maybe we should end here before anything else happens. What are you doing? You look so proud of me. Oh, cause she won. She won the fight. Burn of rejection from getting rejected. Guess that relationship is stronger than I thought. Maybe I should stick to single sims, baby. Wait, you're not even single, Ember!
her. She's engaged to Liam. What is about to happen? What? Okay, after this, we'll end it. I am so sorry, Genevieve. Oh, Genevieve and John got a lot of baby gifts, though. That's a good thing, at least. Oh, good. We have one of these. Okay, good. One of the infant little play thingies. Okay, they seem okay. I, they're both confident, but it says unpleasant conversation. Uh, Molly Grace is just on her phone. Why does it look like you guys are having such a pleasant conversation? I feel like this isn't right. Okay, all right. Well, I think that's 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 enough. We're that's that's good enough. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna end this baby shower here. So it is now after the baby shower and Caspian and Alice May are on their first public date. Looks like there's not a lot of people here. Oh, well, it looks like a, some people are, oh, this is this a bowling alley? It's supposed to be a nightclub. Well, it looks like some people are here to bowl, um, but it's supposed to be Alice May and Caspian's first public date. We're actually not gonna spend too much time here, um, but so we're, 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 they just, they just wanted, okay, wedding group dance, group dance. Um, sweetheart dance together, but but we're just gonna have them dance. I think they're here to bowl, which I think is rather funny. Um, but th they're just in Winnenberg, at a club in Winnenberg. Now that they're public, I feel like Amira and Caspian, or not, not Amira and Caspian, Amira and Jabari, they were like, yeah, you guys can, you know, go on a public date, just be careful, there's probably guards here, Finn, her bodyguard is here. Um, but they, they, this is like, I feel like one of the first times they actually get to go out and be public. I do imagine they're, I, I think some people would try to leave them be. Is that William? Why is everyone here? Okay. I don't think they're supposed to be here. <laughs> um, but we're gonna have Alice Van Caspian. They're supposed to go dance. Again, we're not gonna spend too much time here. Okay, I have no idea why everything just turned blue. That was not the lights I set everything at. Did they just do that on its own? Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. This is actually kind of romantic. Hold on. Okay, I, I do imagine that it's much busier here. Um, I didn't realize it was a ball. Oh my gosh, can I please? Okay, this is actually kind of sweet. It's rather dark. Um, I do imagine there's more people here. I think more people will be coming in. It looks like they were just kind of waiting outside. But this is basically just like, I feel like a, like a very fancy dance club, you know, like, yeah, although there's a, <laughs> a lot of red people here, but we'll pretend that there's more people dancing here and it's just their night out together. Um, we do have to leave because we're, we're going to go see what's going on with Kaleo. Um, but um, yeah, they get to be at their, their first little date together, which is really sweet. Um, and we'll, we'll, there's a reason why they're here and we'll, we'll see why in the next episode. Okay. So, Kaleo, after, I guess after getting, oh, is that a mailbox? Um, after getting back from Oasis Springs, um, has, has been thinking on it, and he's, you know, of course, he's enraged. I, I think he's already been mad, all these feelings have been festering, we've already talked about how Kaleo has not been doing what he should be doing to help himself, and therefore, emotions are just, like, have no proper way out, um, and, and, so now, um, he, he knows this information about Caspian, about Caspian's dad, Maleko, and I think he would try to, out of spite, leak the information. Although, oh, now he's happy. Oh, well, I <laughs> I said to leak the information and he immediately became happy, which is kind of terrifying. He was like, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ha <laughs> ha. And now he's having an emotional meltdown. <laughs> um, right outside the new station in Suwanee. I know he, 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 I think he would know this information. It would be fairly juicy, um, especially because Caspian is dating uh, Alice May. And then of course, like, like his mom, Nia, used to work for Sulani family, so um, I don't really think he's thought this through. He's just hoping that they'll, you know, take this information. So he's gonna ask to meet with the, I guess I'd be like, what, the CEO or something like that? A journalist, essentially. I feel like Kaleo's showing up in this hoodie and trying to like be undercover, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right, Kaleo, <laughs> this is just a little office. Um, Kaleo is, is in his office now. Kaleo Leo is going to, would he try to do a respectful introduction? Let's just do friendly introduction. Um, and we'll, we'll see how this, oh my gosh, hello. Oh, he's confident now. He's like ready to give this information and he's feeling confident about it too. I feel like he's trying to be undercover and he's in this sweatshirt, but I, I feel like he would know exactly 
see who he is. Share conspiracy. Okay, so honestly, I wasn't even sure if I was going to do this in the episode because I didn't think that there was any interactions that could apply for it. Um, but I, I had thought originally maybe doing a machinima, but then people wanted to see Cleo in the episode. So we're gonna try and see what we can do here. So you, you know what would work? Probably gossip. Gossip of, of oh. Wait, gossip about other par- other parents? Wait, okay, hold on. Okay, so gossip? Well, I- you know, she's got so many negative relationships. I guess- guess? I, I feel like he would use this as his leeway on, on the information. Just saying like, I have some information. Probably hoping it will be geared more towards like, you know, because Caspian is Alice May's boyfriend and like this tea, essentially, about his dad, which I, I feel like tea is not a great way to put it because obviously this is some very sensitive information. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him. Okay, so he's like, I don't know who that is. Should a conspiracy theory? Could a imperial mastermind? Wait, 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 wait. Propose Crazy scheme. Sure? The CEO here might look vaguely familiar to you. I, I don't think it's unheard of for royal families to have plenty of people who don't like them. I think there are a number of people, especially these journalists who are able to get their hands on like certain information. They like to play like, I guess play dirty is the best way to put it, like to get information. They want to expose the Sulani royal family. They are against them. They want to prove that like they are keeping things from them. Like, and everything that shows that like, they're not good for Sulani, like having a royal family is not good for Sulani, like that kind of thing. So I, I think this would have been a thing for a long time, especially because Ilana is like, um, she she very much keeps things. Like, of, I mean, we have seen that. She cares about their reputation. So I think that because she does that to almost an extreme, people would probably know some things and find out some things and realize that like, they're trying to keep Keep them from the people of Sulani, and what if they're keeping like other information that that they should know, like that kind of thing. So essentially, just trying to get people like against them. Again, I, I think the CEO here knows exactly who Kaleo is, even if Kaleo's trying to like hide under a jacket. I don't think it's helping much. Oh, now he's crying. <laughs> Oh, 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 he's watching TV. There's a TV in. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, let's see. Clay, do you have a book in your inventory? Oh, that, okay, that's not a book. Okay, let's let's take a look at like the things that he had found. He brought a bag or a backpack or a box or something. We also saw a ledger that he had from his aunt Ali'i, which is Makai's mom. And I feel like he would like just just bear with me here. Okay, I know this is kind of, like seems silly because of course it's the Sims and there's like only so much we can do, but just. We're just here for the ride. We're just here for the story. He's he's literally reading. I don't think he would read the book, but I think he he has it. So like, I, I think the CEO would like realize it's Kaleo and like gets a hold of the ledger too. In addition to the newspaper that Kaleo just gave to him about like leaking the information about Maleko, Caspian's dad. So as he's leaving, let's just let's just let let's leave the book, Kaleo. Can you do that? Can you just like put it down? <laughs> Is that a thing you could do? Put put place in world. How about that? I don't think that's actually the same book. It's, it's okay. Well, he, he's placing a book. I just, I have to do with what I can with this is here, but yeah. All right. You, you placed it in the world. I think he literally put it on the table or the bookshelf, but that's okay. It's like people are leaving the office too, but uh, now the news station has this information Um, and uh, we'll see what they do with that, but Kaleo's going to try to sneak out and go home. Okay, Kaleo is home now. Also, no one else in the family is home, which my might possibly work in our favor. He's f feeling happy, but I, okay, so Kaleo has come home from leaking the information, and then I kind of imagine him like start having conflicting feelings and seeing this picture. I did a story post where I showed this, but like he he had this picture of him and Alice May. But I definitely think he would have kept and held on to. Um, and maybe he sees it and he, the conflicting feeling starts. I think he was starting to feel a sense of regret, but then like seeing Alice May and Caspian together, like it made him angry. And then now he's like seeing the picture of when they were kids and realizing like, why? What good is this going to do? Especially 
actually putting into perspective of what he thinks his dad has done too and like realizing that I don't think he's really like has Caspian's feelings in mind at all. I think it's more like with Alice May, especially like seeing the picture of them together. So we're gonna make Kaleo, uh, I don't know, I guess para- I don't know, paranoid or tense or something like that would be the right emotion. I feel like there's just a lot of emotions, but I feel like he's just like, no, I can't, I can't. It's starting to have a, a bit of a consciousness, just not 100% because we know with Kaleo and it doesn't just always happen like that, but at least like for a start, he's like, maybe I shouldn't have done that. What is this impact going to have on Alice Bay? So Kaleo's gonna go back and try to get to the news. This is headquarter, the news office, the news studio, the news station. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called, the news station. Um, and he's gonna try to go and try to um, get the story back and see if they can pull it and not do it. And we're gonna end this episode here. I know this is the cliffhanger and I'm so sorry. We're going to see what happens in the next episode, but we had a lot in this episode, not only just like the drama and stuff, but of course now we're like the story stuff is picking back up. So we'll see what's going on with that. I would love to hear your theories and everything in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the infant and how cute they are in the massive ridiculous baby shower and then of course this whole thing with Kaleo um, I would love to see your guys' thoughts and if you enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video bye